What up, big dogs? I apologize if I plug this into way too many videos this week, but it is an announcement that I need to make. We are hiring a full stack web developer. If you don't give a shit about that, fantastic. You can skip to this time. Tony, please link whenever the actual video itself starts. But remember, it's rude to skip introductions. We are hiring a full stack web developer for BDG. E. So if you are a full stack web developer and you are in the fantasy space, if you're familiar with BDGE and the brand, that is where we will be looking to hire first from within. Please contact info at bigdogsfantasy.com. We are looking for someone with real experience, okay? So I'm sorry we're not taking anybody from college. We're not taking anybody that does not actually have experience doing full stack web development work. You will be helping maintain, improve, innovate on our membership website, bdge.store. You will be helping create many new tools such as a dynasty trade calculator. You will be working on e-commerce stuff. You will be working on WordPress and the plugins. You will be working on all the nightmarish things like catch problem, cash problems, however the fuck you say it. And you will be working with us in our office in New York City, which will be coming early 2022. So if you are a full stack web developer and you think you have what it takes and you're good and you have experience and you want to work with us for us, please reach out. Info at bigdogsfantasy.com. Now bike to your regularly scheduled film. All right. So this is the uh, final installment of this series. If you've missed either of the previous three videos, we did the best playoff matchups for running backs, the worst and then the worst for wide receivers was earlier this morning. Right now, we're going to look at the three wide receiver groups with the absolute nut draw schedule for fantasy playoffs. I only chose three, not because I'm getting lazy, although I am, but because they're simply, you know, I wasn't just going to push mediocre, extra medium ass schedules out to you guys. I want you to know the primo, the cream of the crop. All right. No matter how much coffee you pour into a cup, the cream will always rise. And these three wide receiver groups have the creme de la creme when it comes to fantasy playoff matchups. If you enjoy the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. We will hopefully be riding you to the hardware this year in fantasy football. I love y'all. You'll know what to do next. Tuck your shirt in. Stop yelling. Now let's eat. As far as content for tomorrow on Thanksgiving, I kind of felt like it was a waste to make a video while everyone's going to be, you know, with their with the familia eating all day and just not wanting to fucking watch my face on YouTube. But we do have a bagels and locks edition going up tomorrow morning. Animal and snacks will give you their sharp 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 picks first thing tomorrow morning so that will probably be the piece of content for tomorrow my rankings as always will be up thursday around noonish on our membership site bdge.store forward slash community all right let's look at the dallas cowboys <laughs> america's football team i only said that because i really hope snacks watches this and hopes that ruins his thanksgiving they play the saints the football team the giants the football team, and then the Cardinals. Looking at this now, actually, I I'm, should have probably included this in the tough matchups or worst matchups for running backs going forward because you have the Saints, the Washington football team, who are really tough against the run, right? Underratedly, the Cardinals are just a good defense all around. The Giants are, you know, fucking absolute shite. But for the passing side of things, the Saints have given up a lot of points. They are not the same on the passing side of things defensively as they are with the run. Same thing with Washington. Washington has been the single easiest matchup for opposing wide receivers. Their secondary is most torchable. Their secondary is literally lighter fluid, okay? Pour it on top of them and let the fantasy points run rabid. The Giants, just not good at football, the thing that they're paid to be good at. And the Cardinals is a tough one, obviously, in week 17. But the four matchups leading up to that, 13, 14, 15, and 16, you got Washington twice, you got the Giants, and you get the Saints. So the Dallas Cowboys have a fruity, fruity, sexy little schedule there for wide receivers. We could see CeeDee Lamb blow up. We could see Amari Cooper have big games. Dak Prescott should be uh, hanging some hardware for you in your little man cave. Then we have the 49ers who appeared on the running backs best schedule list yesterday as well. All those videos will be linked in the description. So if you want to check them out afterwards or right now, go do so. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel while you're down there. The Niners have Cincinnati in week 14. When you hit the actual fantasy playoffs, you are getting Atlanta, Tennessee, and Houston. Atlanta's number 13. Tennessee is 
the third most generous in terms of fantasy points per game allowed to the wide receiver. And then you have the Houston Texans, which are just a shit show of a team overall. So Atlanta, Tennessee, Houston is a sexy, sexy slate. Actually, let me check on that because I put them all as home teams, which I don't think is the case for the 49ers. Okay, the Cincinnati and Tennessee games are both on the road. Okay, so those should say at, but Atlanta and Houston are both home games for the 49ers and then the last team on here which you know is not necessarily a wide receiver group you're in love with but Jalen Waddle could do some damage Mike Kosicki can do some damage and Tua should have some big games to end the hot streak that was fucking dumb the hot streak of Miami Dolphins not a thing in 2021 but the Miami Dolphins scheduled to end the year outside of the bye in week 14 which is obviously a huge neg to this team they get the Giants in week 13 then a bye then the Jets in week 15 the Saints and the Titans, okay? So you have all bottom nine teams in terms of fantasy points per game against the wide receiver position. But those are all juicy matchups, man. The Giants, the Jets, the Saints, the Titans. So I expect Tua to end the year on a really, really solid streak, which should make for some really, really fun discussions in the offseason about how uh, the Dolphins are going to give him another year and people are going to be like, this is the year where we figure out whether or not Tua is make or break. The same shit they've been saying about Derek Carr for like 10 years now. This is the year we figure out who he is at quarterback. But yeah, this end of season schedule should do that for Tua. Should extend his life for another year or so. I'm excited to see what he can do. It now, now he's healthy. Now he's got a fresh slate. Now he's got an easy schedule to end the year. I think the last five weeks of the season should say a lot about who Tua is as a quarterback. And if he can't get it done against these teams, then he's going to have some problems going into the offseason. But I'm excited to see what him and uh, Waddle can do to Together. We'll see what Devontae Parker's deal is. I believe he's on the IR until I, we'll probably not see him until maybe after the bye. So week 15, he can come back. I could see him being, you know, uh, a nice little ad there in the playoffs, weeks 15, 16, 17. We've seen Parker be a league winner in the fantasy playoffs before. Why not do it again? All right. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up for this series. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, you know, throw us a like if you did. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Again, the rankings for this week for the Thanksgiving games will drop probably tonight, more likely around 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow before the Thanksgiving games kick off. I love you. I'm out of here.